Welcome to Three Inquisitive Kids. In our previous video, we covered the contest one for the 2022 to 2023 school year, Division E um, Math Olympiad. So it's Math Olympiad for elementary school students. And in this video, we'll be continuing to cover our solutions and answers for contest two this time. This is currently the latest problems that students have been doing all across the nation and all students in every single school have been doing these problems. So whether you're going to be taking Math Olympia next year or you are currently a Math Olympia mathlete, you can watch this video to check your answers or maybe prepare for the next school year. So this is problem one, 2A. We want you to evaluate this expression. Of course, there are so many different ways you can do this problem. Here is the first way. Let me zoom in a little. We can rearrange the order of these terms. We first have our 6,789 plus, I'm going to put parentheses so it's easier to understand, 5,678, it's this number, minus 678 plus... 4,567 minus 567. And of course, there is a minus 456 at the end. Now, all we have to do is calculate. As you can see, we can group the first and last terms right now together just to make it easier. Plus, this section actually just equals 5,000 plus this section, which equals 4,000. And then we continue to simplify. So these parentheses, when you simplify, you will get 6333 3, 3, plus a 9,000, which gives us 15,333. And that is just one way to do this problem. Another way we can do this problem is by first not re rearranging the terms at all. We can just group them together and add our differences together. If you do this, you will result in 6, 1, 1, 1 plus the second parentheses, which is 5, 1, 1, 1 plus the last parentheses, 4, 1, 1, 1. When you add this together, you again get 15,333. And so that is our answer. Here is 2B, our second problem of this contest. Maria is placing stakes in her garden in a straight line. The 10 stakes are equally spaced. The first and fourth stakes are 10 feet apart. How far apart in feet are the first and 10th stakes? And we can ignore the width of the stakes. First, we can draw out the information given in the problem. We know that there are 10 stakes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 stakes. They are in a straight line, and they are equally spaced. The first and fourth stakes are 10 feet apart. How far apart in feet are the first and tenth stakes? So how long is this distance? Well, a lot of kids, when they think, they might go like, oh, okay, now I have to see how much is one space. And in order to do that, you would do 10 over 3 or 10 divided by 3 because here there are 1, 2, 3 spaces. Usually one of the first mistakes that kids make is that they start dividing and then they get stuck because they know that this decimal goes on forever. It's 3.33333. So they get confused and they don't know what to do. But if you're going to do this, do it this way, you can first just keep it as 10 over 3 in its improper fra fraction form without simplifying it or anything. And then multiply it by how many spaces there are in total. You can see there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 spaces in total. Some kids, they think that there are 10 spaces, when in reality, there is only 9. And then when you calculate, you get 30. So your answer would be 30 feet apart. 
But for those of you who haven't learned fractions, improper fractions, or, or division yet, you can still do this problem. Again, this problem is for students in elementary school, and you can actually use the math you learned in your average school. So if you don't know how to deal with how to work with fractions, you can always think of it like this. You can group these spaces into groups of three, and you know that each group of three is 10 feet apart. When you add them together, again, you get 30 feet. So you will get your answer. 2C. Ellie's favorite number is the least three-digit number greater than 200 that satisfies the following conditions. Number one, it is a multiple of six, and number two, the sums of the, the sum of the digits is nine. What is Ellie's favorite number? So there are multiple ways to do this. We can start from 200, and which number is closest to 200 that is a multiple of six? Well, the closest we can get is 198. So now we can start from here and count by six. The next uh, multiple of 6 would be 204, then 210. We still haven't found our number yet. But then when you get to 216, you can see that the sum of the digits is 9. So 216 must be our number. Another way to do this problem is to see, oh, if the sum of the digits is 9, then this is actually also meaning that this is a multiple of 9. And so if this number is a multiple of 6 and a multiple of 9, what is the least common multiple, the LCM, of 6 and 9? Well, the least common multiple of 6 and 9 would be 18. But you can see that 18 is not greater than 200. So we have to get um, 18 to be greater than 200. 18 times 10 gives us 180. That's not to 200 yet. 18 times 11 gives us 198. That's not to 200 yet. But when we do 18 times 12, we get 216. And so this number must be Ellie's favorite number. 2D. At the Orb Theater, there are 30 rows of seats. The first row has 20 seats. And each row behind the first has two seats more than the row in front of it which means that the second row, for example, would have 22 seats. The third row would have 24 seats, and so on. The last row has 78 seats. What is the total number of seats in the Orb Theater? So when you keep adding, the last row will have 78 seats. Then we have to calculate this entire expression to find what is the total number of seats in the Orb Theater. Again, this is a total of 30 rows or 30 numbers. So now all we have to do is add. If we add the first and last terms together, we get 98. The second and second to last terms together, we get 98 and so on. This is also 98. And so how many pairs of 98s are there in this sequence of 30 numbers? Well, 30 divided by two is 15. And so there are 15 groups of 98s. Knowing this, all we have to do is multiply. And we result with, we have to multiply. 9 times 5 equals 45 plus 4, 490. And a 98. We add this together, get 14. So it's 1,470 seats. In total. This is our last problem, 2E of the contest. How many rectangles, including squares, are in this diagram? As you can see, I tried desperately to recreate the image that was on the contest, and you can see some of my drawing marks. And so this problem is a counting problem. It's essentially a counting problem. All you have to do is slow down and see if you can get it right without making any minor mistakes. The trick is to count in an organized way. And there are multiple ways to organize your thinking. First, you can name all of these squares or all of these rectangles. A, B, C, D, 
E F G H I J. And then now using this, you can continue to count. So how many separate rectangles are there? Well, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. How many rectangles are made up of two smaller rectangles? So here you would have A, C, B, F, G, H, I, J. And that's it for these type of rectangles. Now, how many rectangles are made up of three individual rectangles? We have C, G, H, D, G, H, E, I, J, F, I, J, and that's it. How many rectangles are made up of four smaller rectangles? Well, you can see that there is two, C, G, H, D, and E, I, J, F. But there is also, for example, I, J, F, B, A, C, G, H. So that's four. How many rectangles are made up of five? So it's one, two, three, four, five. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. That's another one. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. That's four. And now, how many numbers are made up of six smaller rectangles? Well, there are no type of rectangles in this diagram that are made up of six smaller rectangles, so we can move on. How many are made up of seven? Seven is zero. For eight, we have zero. For nine, we have zero. But for 10, we have one. It's the really big rectangle on the outside. Now all we have to do is add our totals together. So there are 10, four, 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 and one. When you add them together, you have 10 plus four plus four plus four plus four plus one. That's 11 plus four times four, which is 16, 27. So there are 27 total rectangles. I really appreciate your patience and time for staying here and counting with me through all of this. So that was about it for um, contest two of 2022 to 2023 Division E Math Olympiad. Again, be sure to come back for our next video where Karen, the other on this YouTube channel, will cover our answers and solutions for contest three.